Well, we have been involved in the investigation since, uh, since day one. Bakersfield Police recently became the lead agency on the case to find Orrin and Orson West. Well, this is where they're from, the, the, where the family is from. It just makes sense for us to take the lead role, and that's what we're doing. Members of the biological family say they wish BPD took over the investigation sooner. They have crime units, they have detectives, they have, I mean, they have manpower now. They have the resources that, you know, uh, this case needs. Although the heart of this case now lies in Bakersfield, this story has touched hearts across the nation. Wills has been making and sending out banners for the boys. We're just getting these banners out just because to spread the word another way. She says a woman in Bakersfield paid to make 200 banners. They've already sent out almost 100 of them, 15 going outside the state. Put their faces in other cities, states, and and you know even other countries you know we sent one to canada kern county's black chamber of commerce spoke with wills and her friend cole crenshaw about the case me being all the way in los angeles currently i come out as often as i possibly can it's actually been turned out to be at least like once a, a week um, or wherever i need to go if it's not bakersfield it's california city crenshaw has been in contact with law enforcement from the beginning trying to help with the investigation. This paperwork that I have is actually what I'm going to be taking to the Bakersfield Police Department. There's now four billboards up in Kern County seeking information on the boys. A fifth is in Lancaster, put up over the weekend by a YouTuber in New York who goes by Duty Ron. You know, people out here just putting their hearts in this. They have no relation to the kids and they're out here as if they were their kids. Duty Ron is also one of the nine individuals who put up reward money for anyone with information on the boys. He recently upped his offer from $2,000 to $3,000. I'm Perla Shaheen for 17 News.